Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tom Cat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I'm here with a bonus video for you all today because we have a pattern release. Um, oh, my business partner has also decided to join me. She was not interested earlier, but now she's interested. So here she is. <laughs> my husband just left the house and she was asleep under his desk. Now, uh, now she's come to find me, so there she is. Okay, so we have a new pattern release today, which is very exciting. Itch to Stitch has released their um, newest pattern, and it is the Poes. I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> Jacket, but um, I'll you know pop up the picture and the line art and stuff up here as I am talking. Um, it is a crop jacket, so it hits at kind of your natural waist. Um, it's got, it got jean jacket type um, detailing, but it is collarless, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, so it's got the little breast pockets. You can use the jean buttons. You could use regular buttons if you wanted, depending on your fabric. Um, it's got a little waistband on it that's all part of the, um, the uh, you know, same fabric. It is unlined. It has a two-piece sleeve, a little cuff. I've got the sleeves here on Lena all rolled up. That's how I prefer to wear my jackets, and we'll talk a little bit more um, about what I've done here. I love the colorless view, though. So Kenneth had said, who, owned, who's, who is Itch to Stitch, said that she was, um, she loves a good crop jacket because she has a very long torso and shorter legs. Um, so she likes a crop jacket to kind of make her legs look longer. I have the opposite. I don't have really long legs, but I do have in proportion, my legs are longer than my torso. Um, but I also like a crop jacket because I think that I can play around with proportion a little bit. It does make your legs look longer. And I'm only 5'2". So sometimes I sacrifice the fact that I have a short torso to make my legs look even longer because I am so short. But I think this jacket is such a little gem. It's just a little different than your typical jean jacket, so I think making it in something other than denim is a lot of fun. Um, this comes in her full size range from a size uh, double zero to size 40. I think that's right. I'll put the um, the bust range because she also got, it comes in the cup sizes. So an A cup to a uh, double D cup. Yes. So <laughs> so it comes in the full the full size range. Her full kit and caboodle. Um, I made the size eight with a D cup, which is normally what I do in her patterns. Now, typically with her patterns, I will shorten um, it an inch above the waist. I actually didn't do that on this one. I just left it as is since it's a crop jacket already. And I really like how the length is. So I did not do any alterations to this pattern. Now, I, hindsight, I should have uh, shortened my sleeves an inch, which is something I always do with her patterns. And I don't know why I didn't do it with this one. I got overly excited. I don't know. Um, but that's another reason why. I mean, it's not so long that when I do have the um, cuffs buttoned, it's fine. But um, I just don't wear my jean jackets or anything with a cuff uh, buttoned. I don't know. I just prefer to roll it up. I don't know if I feel like it makes, I don't know, more skin showing, makes my arms look longer. Um, we're always looking for things to look longer here <laughs> on this channel. Everything on me is short. Um, but I do love to just kind of cuff my, um, sleeves on all of those type of jackets. Now, the fabric for this is actually my old quilt for my bed. So quilted jackets are so very in right now, but this was the, um, quilt that was on our bed. It's a cotton, um, matte lisse cover kind of, but it's quilted in like this diamond pattern. Um, and it had just, it was completely worn out. Like we had parts where it was like threadbare, um, because we just, you know, had been on our bed for 10 years and it got worn. That's <laughs> what happens. Been washed, yada, yada, yada. So it had, you know, gotten really frayed around the edges, but there was still quite, it's a king size bed. So there quilt still quite a bit of non-threadbare usable areas. And I very easily got this jacket cut out of it. So I feel like I have repurposed the quilt that was on the bed and it's going to get worn. And I love the cup color. It is my kind of white. So it is a cream colored, um, fabric and um, I did these are faux pockets up here these are not workable pockets they're just faux pockets um, which makes sewing this so much quicker and easier but um, yeah I feel like this is a good winter white I guess you could call it for me um, I went with some jean buttons and they're the ones that have like the little acorn um, oak leaf going on on it. Um, I got mine from Wawak. I just had some in my stash, but I like the antique copper um, against this winter white. I think it looks lovely. 
And this pattern calls for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, but is that thought of just nine? I must have added an extra button. Maybe not. Maybe it does call for ten. Anyway, <laughs> um, love how this all turned out. So, like I said, I have been cuffing it. It is an unlined jacket. It's just a perfect little layering piece. I love the winter white because I think that um, I can wear this in the colder months and it, it yeah it's just something a little bit brighter a little bit more fun I love it with my uh, dream on tear dress that I have it paired with in the footage that you've seen but um, yeah it's just a good little layering piece because you could I mean it's not so I mean it's a jacket but it's still fitted enough that it could go under a bigger jacket if you wanted to wear it as a layering piece so this could easily be a topper if you were making a module, which is, you know, a topper, like a layering piece, like a cardigan, jacket, blazer, something along those lines. This would be a very good topper for a module. Uh, and it'd be wonderful. I mean, I, I'll probably wear this a ton once, you know, spring starts to hit. So no matter what hemisphere you're in, you know, a little jacket, it just goes a long way. Um, I think that's all that there is to say about the pattern. It's her instructions are immaculate. As always, I top stitched all my seams. I'll show, actually show you. I'll show you some up close. Excuse a naked Lena here. Um, I surged all of my seams and then top stitched them down. Just very, like a nice clean look. Obviously, the collar is finished, you know, um, off on the inside. That's all top stitched down. The same with the cuff and the button placket. It's just all done up and top stitch down did the buttonholes on my machine um used a nice uh, my normal Guterman Mara 100 thread on this and then used a size 16 needle I believe because this was I'd say this is about the weight of a denim um this mat was a cover you can kind of see the patterning on it a little bit better but yeah that is my newest jacket Obviously, it's on sale for the next, usually she does a week, so um, I've got a link down below if you're interested in grabbing it while it's on sale. It's just a really great um, jacket project for something to do this winter, um, or if you're going into summer, um, just a great little dig your teeth into it type project um, that makes a great basic piece that you'll probably have forever and be able to wear forever and ever. <laughs> and the cup sizes are so good. Great fitting on this one. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Leave any comments or questions you have in the comments down below, and I will see you on Friday for another pattern. This is a pattern re-release for Love Notions on Friday. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you on Friday. Bye.